It's now my very great pleasure to move on and to introduce Gavin Murray Miller's new book, Revolutionary Europe, Politics, Community and Culture in Transnational Context, 1775 to 1922, which was published by Bloomsbury Academic also this summer. And Gavin is Senior Lecturer in Modern European History um, at Cardiff. It will come as no surprise to those of you that know Gavin that this is a deeply impressive work. Intended as an overview of the tradition of revolution in Europe in the long 19th century, it's more than a broad synthesis of secondary literature. It is rather a brilliant study of modern revolution that compresses an extraordinary range and depth of reading into a coherent narrative, bursting with insight, clarity and pithy explanation. It's also beautifully written, a work of immense craft and skill. Its key argument, and sorry Gavin if I butcher this for you, um, its key argument is that each revolution and each revolutionary situation considered in the book is particular, but not separate. True, each revolution has its own dynamics, and there is no neat model of revolution that we can easily extract from the historical record. But revolutions have necessarily occurred within a tradition of revolutionary thought and behaviour, a very modern tradition that dates from the Atlantic revolutions of the late 18th century. Central to Gavin's argument is the concept of community, which, as he uses it, has at least two meanings. First, a revolutionary community that existed across borders of space and time, similar to the concept of a revolutionary script. That is, revolutionary actors and groups that drew upon the ideas, the values, language, symbols, and in general, the influence of previous revolutions, thereby in turn, cementing the existence of a common tradition. In this way, the Europe in Gavin's title is clever. His focus is revolution on continental Europe rather than elsewhere, but he emphasizes that this is an artificial distinction. His is a properly transnational um, history of revolution that tries to decenter Europe by demonstrating the influence of American revolution on Europe, European revolution on Asia, the Indian subcontinent, and the Islamic world. And the second meaning of community moves from subject to object. It refers to a common goal of these revolutionary movements, that is, the construction or regeneration of community, whether based on nation or class or religious identity. Revolutions are situated in moments of crises, crises of political authority and legitimacy, and hence opportunity for the construction of new myths of collective belonging and new sources of authority. Gavin is very good at teasing out how the key factors of revolutionary explanation interact, that is, structure, agency, ideas, and contingency. He's also very good at putting his finger on the contradictions and paradoxes of revolutionary movements, which, as you can tell from Mary's talk, is something that appeals a lot to me. So, for example, how democracy and ideas of emancipation could coexist with terror, dictatorship, and empire and how social realities could be forcibly constrained within ideological and linguistic constructions. To take but one example from the text that stuck out for me, where Gavin writes about France after 1789, and I quote, the rights of man had declared the nation sovereign, yet the revolution brought this sovereign entity into existence. Herein lay the paradox. As the French Revolution played out, politics and political rhetoric were coming to play a crucial role in defining the new terms of revolutionary society. And broadly speaking, this rings just as true for the Russian Revolution as for the French. And so very briefly to sum up, I think this is a superb work of history, one that will be immensely useful for students and for anyone interested in a short introduction to modern revolution. But, and the great mark of this book is that this is a work not just of interest to students or the general reader, but to experts more generally in the history of revolutions, who I believe will find this work in, um, hugely informative. Again, I don't really have a precise question as such for Gavin at this point. Um, 
and I guess we we may have time at the end for some more general reflection. But as a way of transitioning to Gavin, um, I wonder if Gavin, you might want to reflect very briefly on the challenges of writing such a broad narrative history such as this. Yeah, yeah um, thanks for that, James. And it's a very comprehensive description you've given. And I don't think you, you butchered the argument at all. I, okay. I think you summed it up quite well. Um, I can say that this was a book that actually came out of my teaching. And it, in that respect, it's one of the first books I've written where it was based on a course I was teaching. And I think to some extent, a lot of the student participation over the years plays into these kinds of questions uh, that I was looking at. But I think you're, you're correct in assuming that I wanted to write something that's broader beyond Europe. And in many respects, I became very interested while I was writing this in the idea of just of radicalism in general. And I began to notice there were a lot of trends and strains of thinking that did cut across borders. And I was, you can trace this from France to Germany to, as you put, Japan, Asia, these places. So I wanted to write a book on revolutions, modern revolutions, and modern radicalism more specifically, that looked at how ideologies and how ideas cross borders, use some of the new uh, trends in global history and transnational history uh, to kind of present a more comprehensive view of the 19th century. Um, I'm hoping that this might be considered part of this kind of idea of the global 19th century, but you know, given the title, which my publishers actually insisted upon because it sells <laughs> books apparently, um, you know, we'll see if, if this gets incorporated into this larger uh, kind of field of global history. But it was a very fun book to write overall. And to read. Yeah, okay, thank you. 